So let's please give me a, a, a warm round of applause for Libby. <laughs> Hello, my name is Libby and I teach band at three schools here in Saskatoon. This summer I had the privilege to go to Portugal for World Youth Day with a group here from the diocese and I was asked to just kind of share some of my experiences with you today from that pilgrimage. So I went to World Youth Day with a mission on my shoulders and an excitement in my heart. Um, I had a special mission to pray for the intentions that I collected that summer from family and friends and the intentions that I carried with me um, and to be open to my vocation that the Lord calls me to be open to and to be joyfully open in my heart as I go with haste and say yes to the Lord, which was kind of the theme of World Youth Day this year was Mary arose and went with haste. So I had no expectations of what this pilgrimage was going to be. I had no sense of, um, <laughs> yeah, just expectations or control of what I wanted it to be. I went kind of on a whim. I said yes uh, without knowing much details and I was very joyful to do so. I had no expectations. So when I was there, I was amazed by the beauty around me in the churches, the shrines, the extravagance of gold in the icons, the beauty of the organs and the music, and many churches in Portugal were just grandiose and beautiful um, in images and song, and seeing all the, all the religious sisters and brothers and priests, the cardinals, bishops, the pope. There were many moments on this pilgrimage that made my jaw drop or brought tears to my eyes by the sheer beauty and awe of just walking into a place and thinking, wow, is this a taste of heaven? <laughs> it, was, it was very beautiful and amazing. And equally as beautiful were the moments of simplicity, um, looking into the eyes of someone on the train and smiling, making a friend from another country and trading little trinkets, dancing and singing and cheering and knowing that everyone is included, loved and known in this universal church. There were many joys of abandonments as the plan in our day would often change very quickly and with little preparation. The, the joy of feeling the ache in your feet from walking, which is a joy, <laughs> even if it didn't feel like it, or feeling so warm from the heat, being exhausted, sick, and a little tired. Um, and I felt so much joy offering these sufferings to the Lord that I had never experienced before. And these simple everyday sacrifices are ways that we, go, that we grow closer to Christ and that are ways that we are formed um, in Christ. So just in summary, because I, I, <laughs> I, I would love to talk about this for hours and hours and it would take that long, but I'm not going to do that because we have mass to do today. <laughs> um, in summary, find the joy. Those who follow Christ live newness every day and there is an extraordinary joy and beauty that can be found in simplicity. Pope Francis said this summer that joy is missionary and I think as Christians we have that mark of joy that comes from within that exceeds just very basis happiness. Um, and we are called to find the joy and to serve others and to be the hands and feet of those we serve. Um, and, and secondly, my second summary would be, know that everything that you do matters. Every interaction you have, everything you say and you do, who you meet, you are looking into the eyes of God. And as we are called to be his hands and his feet, um, we are directly serving our creator and building up the kingdom of God on earth with every single interaction that we experience. The third thing is say yes. Knowing the person who's asking your vocation, Jesus, makes the question a little bit less scary. And I think Mary does a wonderful job of showing us how to say yes, even when you don't know <laughs> and you're a little bit scared. And my fourth point is that you are beloved. Jesus adores you and you are his beloved. 
Know that he sees you when you go to adoration and when you receive the Eucharist, Christ is also receiving us. Get to know Our Lady, get to know Mary. She trusts and prays on behalf of us and she pleads for us. Her yes to her vocation, um, her prayer and her trust is the reason why we are here today. So she knows and she sees you and she's on your side um, and wants to take you by the hand to Jesus. So um, in wrapping, in, yeah, in conclusion and wrapping up uh, my testimony here, the church truly is universal and so is joy. So two things that I found universal overseas were the Catholic Church and smiles. <laughs> so I, I pray for all of you. Um, thank you for listening to my testimony and may God bless you and, and care for his beloveds. Thank you.